Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pop out YouTube thumbnail. So, the first thing you want to get started with is your blank canvas, and the YouTube thumbnail size is actually 1280 by 720. So, you want to go to File, New, and open a 1280 width by 720 height document. I usually just save this on my desktop, so I always have it to edit in the right size. Now, what I mean by pop out is if you upload a thumbnail on YouTube, the background on YouTube is always white. So if we kind of imagine this as our canvas and keep things within the center, we can create an illusion that it's popping out or at least make it look a little bit more unique on the YouTube platform. To do this, we're gonna create a 3D box and use a clipping mask. So let's go to layer, new layer, and I'll actually just grab my rectangular marquee tool and then I'll select the entire document and then I'll right click and fill with black. So now I have a black square that's the si that's 1280 by 720. Then if I press command T or I can go to edit free transform, I'm going to hold shift and scale this up from one corner. So now I have a smaller box and this is going to be where our actual picture will live. So I'll press enter and then I'm actually gonna grab my move tool and I'll hold shift as well and I'll use the arrow keys on my keyboard to create some separation in the corner. Now I wanna create that drop shadow or 3D box effect and a quick way to do this is if you hold command and option at the same time and then press the arrow keys, you'll create duplications in one pixel movements of whatever direction the arrow keys are going. So if I alternate between down, left, down, left, down, left, you can see it begins to create a trail. And I'll extend this all the way until it just misses the bottom. Now I have a bunch of duplicated layers. So what I want to do is select the very top one, which since we were moving down and left is this one here. And then hold shift and grab everything but the actual first layer. Then you can just press command E on your keyboard or right click and merge those layers. So now I have my shadow and my original box and I want to move my original box to be the top layer once again. One quick thing I'm going to do to distinguish my shadow is I'll go to right click and open up the blending options and then I'll add a color overlay. So you could pick whatever color you want, you could leave it black if you want, but in this case I'll just choose a bright yellow color. Now another thing you can do is add a shadow. Now there's a lot of different ways you can go about doing this, but what I'm gonna do is just create a new layer. So layer, new layer, and then I'll grab my polygonal lasso tool and I'll just eyeball, if you can zoom in if you want to, I'll just eyeball a straight line from corner to corner. And then I'll pick which side I want to make the shape on, so this bottom half here. And then I'll just right click and fill that with a color. So I'll fill it with solid black and I'll show you why. Now you can see that it doesn't fall in the right boundaries, but I'm gonna fix that by selecting the contents of this layer. So pressing command and clicking on the thumbnail will load this entire selection. Then I'll go to this layer and then I'll right click, select inverse and delete it. So now I have my shadow that's directly within that actual shadow box. Then if I adjust the opacity to 25 or 50 percent you could see that it just creates a little bit of shading now there's a little bit of empty space left over on the left side so what i'm going to do is actually hold shift select all of my layers that i have so far and then go to edit free transform and then just holding shift i'm going to drag everything left a little bit so it spreads it out across the entire thing so now i can grab my move tool make sure everything's center and how i want it use my arrow keys, and I'll leave it at that. So now this is pretty much your template that you can adjust, and let's say you have an image like this that was gonna be your thumbnail, but you wanna put it in this 3D pop-out template. You just wanna place it above your black square or your first square, and then go to Layer, Create Clipping Mask, and you should see this arrow pop in which sets your picture within that one square and then you have that border that you made for it. And then you can add whatever details you want, like text, or in this case, I always have the little Photoshop logo. There you'd have your final pop-out thumbnail. So when you upload it onto YouTube, the white kind of blends in with the background of YouTube 
in 2016, I guess. I don't know if they're going to change it. And it appears a little bit more unique. So this is just one way you could add that kind of pop-out border illusion. Hopefully this tutorial serves as more of an inspiration for you to get to thinking outside of the box when you create your YouTube thumbnails. And you could save your own template on your desktop that you could always put different pictures inside of using clipping masks. If you guys did enjoy this video, definitely hit the like button below and leave me a comment on what you thought. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.